Good morning. I hope this day finds you well. Yesterday we discovered that God has advised us that this little horn had two periods of time in which it was going to exercise its power. We discovered in Daniel chapter 7 verse 25 that the first period of, was for a time, times and a half a time. We then also saw in Daniel chapter 8 verse 14 that this period of time would also be 2,300 days. Today I want to focus on the first period of time and you will recall how that we found recorded in Revelation chapter 12 verse 14 the fact that we have the time times and a half a time and I've just put it down as three and a half years. We also saw how that in Revelation chapter 11 verse 2 and Revelation chapter 13 verse 5 we are drawn to the 42 months and then I, we saw how that in Le Revelation chapter 11 verse 3 and Revelation chapter 12 verse 6 that it actually talks of the 1260 days and I asked you to do a little bit of homework and to try and find out what was the common factor in all of these verses now today I would like to show you when we talk about times 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 sorry times and a half a time we are actually talking about one year plus two years plus a half a year which just gives us three and a half years now in some translations they actually talk about three and a half years whenever you read about time times and a half a time but let's have a look at this in prophetic understanding or the period of time for a year is 360 days so we have 360 days plus 2 times 360 days which is 720 plus we have half of 360 days which is 180 and you will find out that it gives us 1260 days then we find we've got it recorded as 42 months 42 months times 30 is 1260 days then again of course we find it given to us clearly the 1260 days which is the same here so we find that the time times and a half a time the 42 months and of course the 1260 days what is common is that they all refer to exactly the same time period and this is important to understand as we look at this little horn and this first period of time we will notice that in certain periods for example the three and a half years the 42 months and the 1260 days it's been doing something and we're going to look at that again too but i want you to notice today as we close off this study that i want to draw your attention to daniel chapter 12 and the reason why i want to do this is because Instead of us trying to guess to see if we are right here, the Word of God is actually going to clarify what we've just concluded. In Daniel chapter 12, verse 6, One of them said to the man clothed in linen, who was above the waters of the river, How long will it be before these astonishing things are fulfilled? So we find again the question is asked, How long? When these astonishing things that this little horn is going to do is going to be fulfilled. How long? And then in verse 7, the man clothed in linen who was above the waters of the river lifted his right hand and his left hand towards heaven. And I heard him swear by him who lives forever saying. So it's almost under oath. It's almost saying that what I'm about to say cannot be changed. It is a fact. And he says there, it will be for a time, time and a half a time so immediately we are drawn back again to this period of time that this little horn rules that all of what it's going to do will be done in the period of the 1260 days which as we've discovered in prophecy a day is equal to one year so for 1260 years this little horn is going to exercise its power now to try and make this a little bit more realistic, I wanted to, to see 
what does this period of time actually really mean? And I discovered something quite interesting, and I'm hoping that you will be as, as excited as I am when you see what has happened. In Psalm 90, God gives what he has said to be the time period for a man. For example, what is one generation equivalent to? It says there in verse 10 of Psalm, Psalm 90, the length of our days is 70 years. That's, that's actually quite incredible. God says the average lifespan of a man will be 70 years. And then he says, or 80, if we have the strength so people who live in actual beyond the, the ages of 70 live those ages because they are stronger. But the average lifespan, according to Psalm 90, verse 10, is that the length of our days is 70 years. So if we take one generation to be 70 years, and we take 70 years and we divide it into 1,260 years, we will determine how many generations that will be. So if you pull out your calculators and you take 70 divided into 1,260 years, you will find an amazing thing. And that is that it is, it is 18 generations. So what this little horn succeeded to do is that as it influenced the first generation, this information was transferred to the second generation. And finally, what was an error because of being passed to generation to generation to generation, it finally was seen as a truth. You know, it's terrible, dear friends, that when we base on what we believe to be truth on the information given to us by our parents, the fact that this information was handed down from generation to generation to generation. It does not make what they have done a truth. Truth is only found in God's word. And we see that for 18 generations, this little horn trampled on truth and established in the place of truth lies. But these lives these lies, because of the period of time, have come to be seen as truth. We're going to look at this more in further studies. May God bless you today.